Hi everyone, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. Just wait until you see there's one thing in this thrifting footage that I found at the thrift store. And obviously I brought it home and I feel like when you see it, you're gonna know. If you follow me on Instagram, you may already kind of have a, you know, a little hint because sometimes I share things early over there. But I'll stop talking, let's thrift. And then when we're done, I'll share my little haul with you and how I've styled things. Okay, let's take a look at what they have here today. I don't come here as often as other stores, but they have lots of pretty stuff to look at. Actually, when I was checking out, they gave me a card with their new website where they'll be selling antiques instead of selling them here in the store. So um, while they may think that's good news, I do not enjoy that. I looked it up, of course, and they were selling things for hundreds of dollars, but mm, that's none of my business. I thought this was really cute. I loved the metal and the little hearts and um, the flowers, but I've said recently I'm a frame hoarder and I really need to be stopped, so I didn't get it. Y'all, spring is almost here. Um, this little gravy boat I thought was really cute. It would be really beautiful in like a cottage style kitchen, but springtime always makes me crave more color than I would normally like. I also did purchase these two chair pads. I didn't share them in the haul. Uh, they were $4 a piece and I'm gonna set them aside until Christmas time. I do actually want to hopefully thrift or somehow secondhand purchase a new um, dining table and chairs, definitely still vintage or antique. I'm just not really loving our setup in here, um, so I'm hoping to find something new, but you know, that can take a long time, so I'll probably still have this towards Christmas time, and I'm gonna pull out those chair pads for my two dining chairs. This shade was pretty, but maybe minus the beaded fringe. I'm currently obsessing over greens and sage colors for springtime, so that's probably why I was interested in it. Y'all, when are you gonna start decorating for spring? I'm trying to wait until at least March 1st, but I'll probably start taking down all of my decor um, in a couple of weeks, give the house a good clean, and then hopefully I'll be able to get some decorating videos up. But I generally like to leave my seasonal decor up at least one to two months, so I'll do spring for March, April, and then start to tweak it again in May.
these curtain rods being $3 a piece, that's an amazing deal. I did end up like measuring them because I really wanted one uh, like that one right there for maybe the bedroom, but unfortunately they're too short for any of our windows. I contemplated getting this little longa burger basket for only a dollar, but it's just too orange for my taste and I didn't want to mess with it and try to change the color. I love this style of bag or like when it's in a suitcase. I actually have some that I've thrifted, but I think it reminds me of my childhood and that's why I may love it so much. I was wondering if this is anything collectible like the other cabbage dishes that I see a lot on Instagram, uh, but unfortunately they put their sticker right over another so I wasn't sure, but if it is, $4 was a really good deal.
Look at all these cool pipes. I would like to find an antique pipe to add to my collection. I think it would just look nice styled with the English country look that I like. Um, these were a little too pricey for me and I didn't love the corn cob look. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hold out for a solid wood one. Okay, I'm wondering what's the deal with these ducks. Anytime I've shown them in my thrifting videos, people always comment about them or say I should have purchased them. So are they just collectible or is there a story behind them? Because they really don't seem super old. You're kidding. You're kidding. This was not on my bingo card for today. I had no idea. Well, duh. But I just never expected to find one of these thrifting. If you know what these are, then you know that they are expensive in the like antique collecting kind of realm. Um, I, for fun, just like I do with many things, look these up on eBay all the time and they're always way too expensive for just one small item like this. I am so happy to have found one and for $3, it's a, I think, Victorian um, toothpaste pot or jar and it just has like a little spot in there, I guess, where the toothpaste would be. And this is going to look so good in the bathroom down here with my like, you know, vintage soaps and bathroom stuff. I cannot wait to put it on there. It's gonna look so cute. Okay, so I'll insert a clip of what that looks like, but here it is again. Isn't that so beautiful? Yeah, I was just beside myself when I just picked this up off the shelf and looked around like, is anyone else seeing this? <laughs> and then when I was checking out, they were like, what is this? So they obviously had no idea what it was because at that store, as you saw, the prices are not cheap. Okay, moving on from that. I don't think this was in the thrifting footage, but this is not vintage, but I love this style of hat and this little blue ribbon on here was so cute and um, if you're new here I like to decorate seasonally so for the summertime I have a vintage hall tree in the entryway I like to hang stuff like this on there so I thought this would look really pretty on the hall tree like I said in the summer and then I grabbed this little tiny lamp shade or sconce shade it was a dollar and I like to put these on my brass candle sconces around the house um, or maybe I'll find like a cute little candlestick base and do, do like a little faux lamp situation somewhere. But this one's really clean and I liked the color and that it's pleated for a dollar. That's a really good price. Okay, y'all, that's going to wrap up today's thrifting video. I hope you enjoyed watching and seeing all the good stuff that I found. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.